new video i am so excited to share another what i eat day with you guys always your guest favorite in today's video i want to share some healthy quick and easy recipes that help me to hit muscle to feel my best and to balance my hormones as well this has been a journey i've been on and it's been really eye-opening and it's been going really well i did an upper body workout this morning and i'm gonna make like a post-workout meal right now i actually meal prepped some chia seed Cutting yesterday. We're gonna make that with some Greek yogurt and make some breakfast. breakfast here greek yogurt blueberries cheese seed pudding and then i put some of these seeds these are the super food ones from the brand Bea. it has let's see flax seed pumpkin seeds and organic hemp seed and then i put this on top it's not a nut butter it is the pumpkin spice granola butter from oat house the ingredients are honestly pretty good oats coconut oil maple syrup olive oil cinnamon pumpkin powder nutmeg this is so delicious so yeah, this is going to be a breakfast for today. Okay, and then with breakfast, I obviously take my Nutrafol. This is a hair growth supplement that I absolutely swear by and have all my friends use. I have been using Nutrafol for the last, I don't know, I would say five years. When Max and I were living in New York, we met the founder of Nutrafol and this was during a time that we were living such unhealthy and stressed lives and I had extremely thin hair. This is a photo which almost had exactly the same haircut. I got a haircut last week. It's almost the same length, but it looks completely different. Started taking Nutrafol and saw such, such amazing results. So much thicker, so much healthier. It just feels like I have so much more volume to it. I recommend this to everyone. Like I gave it last week to my assistant, Abby. I've been giving it to my friends. I've been giving it to my mom. Whenever I walk into a hairdresser and I see this on the shelf, it makes me honestly so happy. All the ingredients are made with drug-free ingredients. Like it has ashwagandha and it really like targets the root causes within. For example, stress and hormones and nutrition. Like we all know how much that matters. Nutrafol is giving me me and my community an amazing offer you get $50 off your first three months and I would highly recommend using it for at least three months sometimes people ask like when do you actually start to see results you need to take it at least for three months because it takes time for your body to build up and to adjust and all of that I'm telling you nothing comes quick and easy but definitely recommend I'm gonna link it down below and then also obviously make sure to eat it with breakfast or food because you will actually be able to absorb the nutrients better when you have something with fat. I like stirring this so the nut butter kind of goes everywhere. <laughs> so delicious. Mm, I love it. This is one of my favorite things to eat in fall, anything butternut squash related. So I'm just gonna quickly air fry the butternut squash because that's something that I didn't do yet. And the other day, I asked on my Instagram stories kind of like what you guys health goals and wellness goals were and like what kind of things you're actually running into when you're on your health and wellness journey and a lot of people responded there and some of you i actually spoke with in a dm that sometimes when you're really busy throughout the day when you're at work it's really hard to have healthy meals and that meal prepping is kind of a pain in the ass to be honest i am completely with you i can completely understand like the last thing you want to do on your Free Sunday is, hold on, sorry, I need to grab the thing, is 
go get all the groceries, cook so much stuff, and then throughout the week you have meals that are not super fresh. I can completely understand and I even sometimes have difficulties with that. But I wanted to give you a couple tips because meal prepping is the best way to set yourself up for a successful week when it comes to healthy diet and nutrition. It's like one of those things that you really don't feel like doing, but once it's done throughout the week, you're like, oh, this feels really, really good. All my spices. Okay, so my biggest tip here and what I personally do, I don't do a full meal prep on Sunday. I do get all ingredients. So I will go to a farmer's market or I will go to the supermarket. So at least I don't have to go to the store. That is already number one. But what I normally do is when I cook for myself or when I cook for Max, I actually make a double portion. So last night I made a lot of chicken and quinoa and I just made for four people. So now I have leftover for the next day that I can use. So it's some type of meal prepping, but it's only one day old and I don't know, it's just like easier that way. You only have to clean it once. You only have to cut up everything once and I don't know, I just feel that is something that has really worked for me. So if you don't like meal prepping, but you do want to have like healthy foods for the next day, just make a double portion of dinner. It's very easy. Okay, I made some butternut squash. I put some salt and pepper, coconut oil, and some cinnamon on there. Ooh. And I'm just gonna pop it in the air fryer. So let's put it on here. So while that is cooking, I'm gonna share a big secret with you guys. There's this place in uh, Santa Monica where Max and I go all the time. It's a wine bar and coffee shop. And they have this one salad. It's like a fall vibe salad. And I am obsessed with it. It is all about the dressing. The dressing is a cinnamon date vinaigrette. At one point I asked the owner, I was like, you know, I would love to know what's in it. And he was like, you know what? I will give you the recipe. And I was like, oh my God. This dressing, I often make it a little bit bigger. Again, I can store it in the fridge, use it multiple times, and I am telling you, it will blow your mind, elevate basically any type of salad or veggie you have. And I absolutely love it. I've been making this on repeat three days. I know the color is not as pretty, but I promise you, this is so delicious. Some of the button and squash burnt a bit, so I didn't have that much. But yeah, I have arugula, avocado, grilled chicken, and quinoa, and then feta, and then the dressing on it. And it's so delicious, so let's stir it up. It looks really good. I feel like that kind of is very similar, like the, there's a fall bowl at Sweet Green. Not as good of a dressing, but kind of like tastes a little bit similar. Hmm. It's the dressing. You have to you have to try to make it at home. I will link it in the description so the recipe so you can see it as well. But really good. I've recently been making a little bit more of an effort of mindful eating where I'm not doing something else while I'm eating, like sitting behind the computer. I just notice a big difference in my digestion. I don't know if that's just in my head, but I just feel if I'm actually just with my food, I like eat a little bit slower and it's easier to digest after while sometimes when I'm eating behind a laptop or something, I literally shove the food into my face. I will have an upset stomach after and I wonder why. So. Conscious effort today. I am so excited for Christmas time and stuff. I feel like in LA you never really get a season, which honestly is one of the reasons I'm here because I love the sunshine, but it is just so nice to sometimes go to like the cold and then have like very warming foods. There's this one Japanese sweet potato recipe that I'm obsessed with that I love and I'm going to be making when I'm going home. Sorry. 
beautiful and it's coming up but yeah i'm excited to just go to the netherlands just be with family but also just like all the cozy christmasy stuff i don't know also again i was actually gonna keep it as a surprise or secret but i'm just gonna share it with you guys here we have been working on a new challenge and stuff for january you know with the holidays everyone is gonna be enjoying themselves and like having fun which we should me as well i like can't wait to go back home but i feel always in january that's kind of like a moment you kind of want like a reset or i do so we created a gut reset challenge which is probably going to be one of my favorite ones. I worked with Dominica, our dietitian, really closely, making everything gluten, dairy-free, but also really looking at like beans, for example, because sometimes, even though they're so healthy and so nutritious, sometimes they can have like a little bit of a negative effect on your like digestion, for example. I am just excited to really dive in. Like I learned so much throughout the creation of this. I am so stoked about it. I feel like we're all going to need it in January. But yeah, we're filming that next week. So that is coming. I'm excited for it. And I'm excited for you guys to try it as well. So, here we go. Okay, it is 3.30 right now. So I'm going to make a little smoothie, a little protein smoothie as a snack. Of course, I'm using my protein powder, some almond butter, and then also almond milk. I really like this brand because it only has two ingredients, so no seed oils, no extra sugars and stuff, and then with a banana. So, blend this up. We're gonna make some dinner. I just pulled up a recipe and I really wanted to make the Thai noodle soup with chicken meatballs. It's honestly so easy. For the base, we're gonna have rice noodles. These, I just got these at the organic store. We're gonna have coconut milk in it. For veggies, we have bok choy, some green onion. And then I'm gonna grab the red bell pepper, the red curry paste. And as protein, we're gonna make some chicken meatballs. So let's do it. taking my rings off uh, because I'm gonna need the chicken and you don't want that stuck in there. I'm just waiting for the noodles to fully cook and this afternoon I touch base a little bit on like the cook one eat twice thing so for example today I made a bunch of chicken meatballs but we're probably not whoop. we're probably not gonna eat everything so what I'm gonna do is like keep a couple in the fridge and then for tomorrow for lunch I can just like reuse it or for dinner so it makes it so much easier I don't have to meal prep but I do have a lot of delicious 
homemade meals. Yeah, I think the curry is ready. I'm gonna put it all together and then dinner is ready. Dinner is ready here. So we got a red curry soup with the noodles, bok choy, the chicken meatballs, and then I put some cilantro, which is obviously optional because some people don't like it. And then some like green onions, but this is gonna be dinner for tonight. This definitely has a spice to it. It is 8 p.m. and I'm on the couch, so I'm gonna have a little snack. I'm gonna have the French squirrel peanut butter stuffed dates. They're very delicious. I love having these with like some tea. Let's see, there we go. Mm. You can make these at home really easy yourself too. Add peanut butter in the date and then cover it with chocolate. I feel especially in winter, I'm on such a chocolate kick. It just like warms me. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Your support is always- Ooh! On my white couch. I hope to see you very soon. Love you!